Today is all about connecting children with animals at the Museum Center. Joining us to talk about the special event is Cody Hefner. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Yes. Good morning. So you guys got an aquarium now. We do. Uh, we had an aquarium before. This one is an upgrade. So uh, it's bigger. It has better viewing area. It's going to have um, new animals in it. A little and a neat uh, space updated. for kids to crawl in and look up. Yeah, so it has this little mouse hole uh, tunnel in there that kids can crawl into. It's bigger than the one we had before. Uh, and from the front, when you look in, it actually looks like the kids are in the tank. And so oh, it's, neat. it's just really cool for them to actually be under the water uh, and, and see it from that perspective. And the theory of this works with your woods area. It's sort of things that you can find in Cincinnati or the tri state that are kind of brought inside the building. You, you can crawl through those fake woods, which are fun. I used to go in there all the time when my kids were younger, and then this will be a way that you can see turtles and stuff that would be out there naturally anyway. Yeah, so I mean, nowadays, so few kids are playing in nature as much as they used to, uh, and a lot of them don't have access to woods and natural areas like that in their own backyard. So this gives them an opportunity to experience that, and the aquarium gives them an opportunity to experience them the animals that they would find in a stream or a pond or a river near their house or anywhere in this area. And they actually went out and they took photographs in French Park to uh, design this aquarium so that oh. they could replicate that. Oh, fantastic. Now, you won't find any lemurs in the area, but today <laughs> no. at the Museum Center, you've got a neat screening going on for uh, p potential Siskel and Everts of your lemur movie. We do. We have a uh, kids' critic screening of Island of Lemurs, Madagascar. Um, you know, so there's going to be about 100 to 150 kids from three to eight, year, eight years old, and we're asking them for their opinion of the movie after they get out. So they're going to come out of the film, they're going to write reviews for us, tell us how they like the film. Uh, we can share that with everyone else as well. Oh, that's neat. It's such a wonderful screen, that Omnimax down there. Talk about the power if, if you've never seen a movie in that thing. Yeah, it's amazing. It, it's pretty awe inspiring. Uh, and just imagine um, being a young kid again. Although you are kind of <laughs> yeah. still a heart, right? <laughs> uh, being a young kid again and just having that experience all around you, and you know, having to watch the film and kind of move your head because yeah. it, it's so expansive. Well, when I was a kid, there was a giant screen at this place where I saw Star Wars in 1977. I, I still remember it so vividly because it's a great movie, but also that screen was so huge. So I'm sure kids could have that same yeah, experience. Yeah, it really, it really makes an impact. Uh, neat. Well, the kids' critic screening of Island of Lemurs begins at 10 o'clock today. The ribbon cutting for the aquarium in the Duke Energy Center's Children's Museum will begin at 11. Thanks so much for coming in and talk to us about it, Cody. Thanks for having me. Appreciate